Good morning. Guess where I am? I'm in the middle of the John Hughes universe. Like if you're a child of the 80s, child of the 90s, you watch them on VHS, you saw them in theater maybe, then you're gonna recognize all these places that I'm going to right now. All of John Hughes movies are pretty much shot in the same area of Chicago, the northern part. Now, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I have the places that I'm gonna to go to. Right now, I'm at the location of my favorite John Hughes movie. I'm gonna start it with this one, because this is my favorite, favorite John Hughes movie. I watched this movie on VHS, I, I would say 40 or 50 times at least. Like, I love this movie. It is incredible. It is one of the funniest movies. After National Lampoon's Vacation, I think this is the funniest movie of all time. This is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is Neil's house. And I believe you only see it at the end, see it at the end of the movie? Only? Steve Martin walks down this street with John Candy. Right here, this street, right here. Walks down here. Into this house. After that arduous, ardu after, oof, what's the word? That arduous, arduous. After that long journey, he finally makes it home here. And that's the house from planes, trains, and automobiles. One of the funniest movies ever made. So I'm just gonna show you the houses mostly from uh, the movies and explain along the way which ones I'm not doing and why. Planes, trains, and automobiles, right here. What house am I going to next? I'm not even sure, because my little root guide thing screwed up again. So I have to figure it out which way on my own. But I have a feeling you're gonna know this next house really, really well. All right, by that little facial cue, can you guess where I am now? Mm -hmm. And there's people out here taking pictures. I would say this is probably the most famous house in Chicago now. You know what it is, right? Come on. Take a look. There it is, the house from home alone. Now, a lot of people have been out here filming this before in the past on YouTube. I don't watch other people's videos now about subjects I'm going to go to, not because I think I'm better than them, not at all, but because I don't want my, my vision clouded and I want to do my own take on things. I don't want to be accused of copying anyone. But in the past, I've watched videos about this house so i know people have covered it really well and gotten into the back and actually someone i know back in toronto has been inside the house uh because they know if somebody that lives on the street which is really cool and they told me about the inside of the house and stuff but you can watch other videos about it but you're watching mine right now so don't leave you can watch that afterwards but here it is this is kevin's house kevin I just th drove through the town square from the movie and the little town, like the drugstore and all that. And I was gonna get out and film it, but I thought, no, I'm sticking just to the houses. Just to the houses. And this is the Home Alone house. And they have a mailbox. Where did I park though? Oh, I found parking. That's not my car. So people are home. I didn't think people were home right now. Oh, they're probably preparing for a trip. Do not leave your son behind. Just don't. 
I had kids, I probably would. But probably on purpose. Yeah. As you can see, driving on this huge trip, car is filthy. Stopping for a car wash. So my car is being washed by everybody right now. This is some sort of sorority thing for uh, a medical school, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it's all soapy. It's dirty on the outside. Nice. Well, here we go. That's a pretty good job they did. That's amazing. The oh, tire's a little dirty. I should go back and demand my money back. That's pretty good. Sweet. Oh, they missed a the spot right there. I'm going back. So as you just washed, I just got my car washed. These are three young ladies that helped. I'm Lizzie, Emma, Alex. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what other name would be the John? This is gonna be on my yeah. John Hughes video. Lizzie, Alex, and Emma. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect name for a John yeah. Hughes movie. Right. <laughs> so they're all over there working. What are you doing right now? So we just stopped by. We we uh, we've been here since eleven, and we're gonna be here till five. We have a car wash for um, the Rush Junior Board, and we raise money uh, to support Rush Hospital in in the city. Okay, so yeah. I was under the impression it was for some sort of sorority thing, like to raise no. money. That's a we raise money for a hospital because that's so sweet. Yeah. We're yeah. charitable people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I see. I was under the impression this was for some sort of university or something. Right. No. No. no so no. It, it Rush Hospital in the city. It's like a it's a huge hospital, yeah. and we go down and actually we're the only group in Illinois, and I think like one of the only groups yeah. in in the country the that is uh, allowed to volunteer at the hospital right. while we're still underage. Right. So yeah. when you're a junior and a senior in high school on the board, you get to go volunteer at the hospital and interact with the patients and actually see what all the money that you're raising does for them. Oh, yeah. you're doing a beautiful so thing, awesome. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. That's, great. that's really yeah. sweet. That's really awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. really yeah. sweet. Yeah. All right. Thank awesome. you so yeah. much. It was good to meet you. Yeah, so a little known movie by John Hughes. I, I don't know if it's little known. Is she's having a baby? That's one of my favorite John Hughes movies. Hi, and cute little kid. Um, so, and she, and she's having a baby. Playing two automobiles overlaps. If you watch those movies, you'll see. In Playing Two and Automobiles, the wife is watching. She's having a baby. It's on the TV in the background. And if she's and in Playing Two Automobiles, Kevin Bacon's character of Jefferson, Jefferson Briggs, is that his name? Appears at the beginning of Playing Two and Automobiles as a commuter. Still, all these houses really close together. Oh, and that little car wash thing? That was just a little aside. That was pretty cool, eh? Sweet kids, doing a good thing for the hospital. Girls, uh, Alex, Emma, Lizzie, peace to you. Good job, girls. Love what you're doing. So this is the She's Having a Baby House right here. And they filmed all up and down this street. They had the lawnmowers going and the and the the party on the street. And the dance sequence. All here. But that's the house from She's Having a Baby. Huh? I love that movie. It's one of my favorite. Oh, I love them all. But She's Having a Baby, I really like. I did. I was a little young when it was out. I didn't understand what it was like to be a parent, obviously. Or to even be like on your own trying to start up a family and start up a life. But I loved it. I loved it. And Alec Baldwin is amazing in the movie. Watch it. If you haven't seen She's Having a Baby, watch it. I'm telling you, all these neighborhoods, <laughs> every house looks like it could be in a John Hughes movie. It's crazy. I can see why he chose to film in these places though. They're gorgeous houses, gorgeous streets. Ah! I'm in a John Hughes movie right now. I'm living it. And so are you. I'm back, I'm not done. I ain't done with you. Remember Uncle Buck? Everyone remembers Uncle Buck. 
Macaulay Culkin is in Uncle Buck. Macaulay Culkin is really funny that I'm a kid, that's my job. I can start quoting all these movies too, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. But this is the Uncle Buck house right here. And behind me is the house that Uncle Buck shows up at by mistake, thinking that's his relative's house. His brother's house. But no, this is the house right here. So that's Uncle Buck. Well, that's the house from Uncle Buck. It wasn't Uncle Buck's house, it was his brother's house. Right there. John Candy was here. Here we go. One more coming up. And it's a big one. And I'm gonna explain to you about a few other houses, why I'm not going to them in this video. But am I going to them in other videos? Oh wait, no, I've got two more. Yeah, I got two more. One's an add-on. But the next, <clears throat> damn it. Okay. <sighs> Just follow along. Just please. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying this. So this next house you're gonna recognize for sure because, whoa, that was close. It's one of the most famous. I think it's one of the first John Hughes movies. And it's one of the most popular. And that movie is 16 Candles. And this is the 16 Candles house right here. And the owners gave me permission to film. They're really cool. They're going in and out. They're going to a hockey tournament. That's what you do in Chicago and Toronto. Right there. They don't really care. They see people come by all the time. A long duck dong, one of my favorite characters. Offensive now, sure. Shot all those scenes right here. Seen candles. Right here. All right, now this is the final location for my John Hughes movie locations, houses only, trying to do houses only. And this is actually not a John Hughes movie, but it feels like one. Now, let me explain something. There's a few, let me explain again. A few houses that I missed, obviously, because of one reason, they were in Los Angeles. Now John Hughes mostly shot in Chicago, but some movies he shot in Los Angeles. Pretty in Pink, some kind of wonderful, I believe. And uh, the Ferris Bueller house, Ferris's house. I've been there before. I think I have a picture of it. If I do, I'll insert it now. I took that a while ago. That's in Long Beach, California. That's down in my, where I like to be. But yeah, so they, oh, people are slowing down to see what I'm doing in this neighborhood. Keep it moving, Gramps. Love you. Peace. Watch my channel. And um, yeah, so those locations I'll do uh, at some point when I'm back in Los Angeles, which is coming up soon. But this is Risky Business. Remember that movie, Tom Cruise? It made Tom Cruise a star. Before Top Gun. Before uh, uh, Far and Away, Days of Thunder. I love Tom Cruise. Who doesn't? Well, a lot of people don't, but I do. But anyway, so a lot of those houses, I'm not going to on this uh, thing. So, But the She's Having a Baby house, the Uncle Buck house, and what was the other one I was just at? She's Having a Baby, Uncle Buck, oh, 16 Candles. They're all literally within like two blocks of each other. It's really cool to see how close they are. This house is a little further away, but I want to include it. Even though it's not a John Hughes movie, still, come on. It feels like one. Let's go take a look at the risky business house. Something, 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 and I'm being chased by Guido the Killer Pimp. Just kind of remember the quotes in my head. Guido the Killer Pimp. Risky business house right here.
What do you think? It's just a house, but it's a beautiful house. And that's the house from Risky Business. Awesome. Oh, another thing. I was just coming down St. John's Road. If you're from Chicago, I was just coming down St. John's Road up in Highland Park, and I passed all these beautiful houses, and then I passed like a little log cabin with a plaque out front. Cause tell me, I could Google it, but I don't want to. I want someone to do the work for me, please. Tell me what that little log cabin is doing in the middle of all these beautiful houses. Who, who lived there? What went on there? Does Molly Ringwald live there? Did she live there? Was she born there? Anthony Michael Hall? Judd Nelson? Someone? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Not in my car, somewhere else, in a hotel room. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm gonna get some more John Hughes stuff coming up. Because John Hughes created the 80s. Didn't he? I don't know. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this look at the houses of John Hughes movies. And one that looks like it should be in a John. It was directed by some guy named Paul Brinkman. Paul someone, Risky Business. But seriously, it feels like a John Hughes movie, right? Risky Business, come on. All right, a little, but a little more R-rated, a little more racy. Well, there were there hookers in, because there's a, there's a hooker. It's about a hooker, Risky Business, pretty much. Are there hookers in other John Hughes movies? I don't know. There's no hooker at Home Alone. Hooker alone. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Home Alone hooker. Peace. Out. Time to go. Risky business. What?